Hey guys, George here, GI Custom Knives. Uh, I'm doing this video today because I wanted to uh, show you all something that I just received uh, from Michigan. It's a new new tool for the workshop that I think is going to expediate and also help uh, lower the cost of some things for my customers uh, because. I just, uh, and this is nothing against Texas Knife uh, Maker Supply, they're a great company, they have great product, but it, uh, I sent a blade off to them uh, for a heat treat and a cryo treat, and it wound up costing me close to $40 uh, for the heat treat, the cryo treat, shipping there and shipping back. And that's just not something I could live with constantly because I'm wanting to move into the stainless steels I'm wanting to move into the 440 C's and the 154 CM's and the ATS 34's um, and I can't see doing that it doesn't seem cost effective to me uh, over a long period of time uh, to be doing that constantly plus it adds you know an extra two to three weeks on the knife and uh, you know I'm not a very patient fellow. Um, I am, but not when it comes to that stuff. Not when I've got people waiting on me. Uh, so, without further ado, let me take the camera here off the tripod. Please forgive my mug being all up in your face right quick. Get it off there. There we go. Alrighty. Here it is my new even heat heat treating oven I've got the uh, set pro computer controls on it that allow me to save up to four different programs uh, for different sit uh, for different steels uh, this is the 18 inch deep model so it allow me to even do my largest Bowie knives that I have going and this one is the 120 volt model uh, my shop is not wired for uh, 220 so uh, even heat actually had they have the new setup here to where you can do it with uh, 110 and you know that's what I have out here in my shop uh, so now from here on out uh, I'll be doing all of my own heat treating you know prior to this I did my own heat treating of my tool steels but I was not able to heat treat my own stainless steels not efficiently anyway Please excuse the sh uh, mess in my shop here. I've been going through the, the setup papers and uh, I've got all that stuff laying here on top of my workbench here. But here's this, guys. Uh, I think for now I'll probably be just concentrating on the uh, 440 stainless until I can figure out better ways to do the uh, the 154 CMs and the ATS 34s um, sorry about that I'm not the greatest cameraman in the world uh, but uh, yeah that's what I've got going on here um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a cryo treat set up uh, from what I've studied a little bit liquid nitrogen is a bit expensive and uh, it, you know, kind of shipping a blade off for uh, a four dollar cryo treat is not very cost uh, effective either. But anyway, uh, I will be doing the 440Cs, I'll still be doing the 01s, the 1095s. Uh, I may even venture into the D2, uh, D2 tool steels, uh, a little bit tongue tied on that one. D2 tool steels, see if you can say that five times really fast. Uh, but anyway. Uh, that being said, guys, uh, I look forward to hearing from you. I uh, hope you have a great and blessed weekend. And it is my prayer that God blesses everything you put your hands to. Y'all take care. Have a great weekend.